Okay, you guys had to see this coming. Had to see it coming from a mile away. Because you know what we're going to do now. We are going to carve into the top of this elephant. We are going to carve in a wood spirit. That's right, wood spirit. Get excited, Jordy. Here it comes. Jordy over there carving fusion. He is the wood spirit tree carving pumpkin master, master of the universe. All right, let's carve. We're going to be carving a wood spirit on top of an elephant. We're going to wrap his beard down around that elephant a little bit, I think. Okay, plunge cut. Now we got to go back in here and cut the rest of his nose in. Once you get all your plunge cuts in, You know what you got to do. Like we do with everything. Feather it back. Man, this is some stringy, fuzzy wood here. Guys, really, really fuzzy. I don't know what kind of pine this is, but... It surely is not cedar. I don't think it's cedar. It might be white cedar. I don't know. Some kind of pine. That's all I can tell you. Some kind of pine. Came off a pine tree out there in the woods. Feather back that mustachio. I think, I think we got down to uh, the center, closer to the center here. It's getting sticky. I think it may be a little sappy. A little sappy, guys. Getting a little sappy. Look at that. Look at that stuff fuzzing up on there. Getting all fuzzy. It's not the kind of good fuzzy either. It's not the warm and fuzzy. It's just sticky fuzzy. What do you think, Glenn? 
What do you think, Glenn? Not as good as Jordy's, huh? No. I think Jordy's had a few more years practiced at it, though. Go over there to that Carving Fusion channel and check out that Jordy Johnson. That guy will carve a wood spirit so fast, I'm surprised that the wood does not catch on fire. He's just so he's just got that nailed down. So good. So good. I'm just kind of bringing my nose in right now. And you can see that nose is too flat yet. We gotta we gotta dig that nose in deeper. Watch the lines while you're doing this. You don't want to chop the side of your nose off. Oh yeah, look at the size of that nose. Look at that honker on that guy. <clears throat> We're going to have to do something about that. But, like I said, more wood is better because you can always come back and bring it down. I don't go as deep as Jordy does on the first pass. It's probably because I just don't have the experience that he has. He, char he carves these wood spirits. I mean, he has carved wood spirits that are four and a half, five feet tall, maybe taller. He's carved them sitting down on benches. And I'm not talking little benches. I'm talking full-size people benches. Up there where he lives in Ladner. Ladner, Canada. L-A-D-E-N. Ladner, Ladner, whatever it's called. Anyway, up there where he lives, there's a place called the Spirit Trail. And, uh... It's kind of like a, a marsh reserve type thing. And he has put so many wood spirits in there. They're so cool. You get a chance to go out and check his spirit trail video. And some of the big wood spirits that he's put out there, big ones. You know, the guy is just good. Nothing about it. Great guy too. Get to talk to him. Be like he's a really cool guy. Yep, my friend Jordy. We've been yapping back and forth for a while now. Yep. Fuzzy, fuzzy. I'm gonna round the top of this thing over a little bit. I don't think we're gonna, I don't know, we might put hair on it. Or we can just uh, come in here and put in his forehead. I don't know. Or we just push the whole thing back like a forehead. Yeah, let's do that. Remember, you gotta leave room for his eyebrows.
that's usually why we push that forehead back so he has eyebrows. Look. Oh, I got a unibrow. <clears throat> yeah, right now you got a unibrow. My elephant nose is getting in my way of my carbon here. I want to bring the bridge of my nose down a little. Got a little too much nose going. I don't know, guys. I think it's gonna. It could start pouring any second here. If that it's getting colder, we're expecting rain. So I don't know how far into this we're gonna get before I gotta do the scramble to get my stuff put away. Do the hundred yard scramble. Get my stuff put back in the car. Yep. Yeah. Get back on the table, guys. Get back on the table. They would do that little cross maneuver there from from the bridge of the nose, and that gets rid of the extra hair in between the eyeballs. And then we just bring down the bridge of our nose. And it depends on how bushy you want your eyebrows. I always bring this edge down. So now he's he starting to look like something. Help me, Jordy! This guy is killing my face! Oh, see that wind blowing all that sawdust around? Got a feeling we better pack things up for today. And then again, you know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, Thursday, 28th. So, we won't be carving tomorrow because we'll be in a different locale. And all my stuff will be in the back of my car. Keep feathering that stuff back, guys. Keep feathering it back.
that. Yep, face, face is popping out there. This will all be beard down in here. You might pop a mouth in there. Uh, just gotta keep working this stuff, working it, working it. Nice, I go nice and easy with mine. Okay. You wanna bring that taper. You know, you don't wanna take much off the end of the nose. Keep working that taper down. And if your nose gets too flat on you, just you can bring this down deeper. Yeah. I go up underneath the uh, eyebrows. It gives it a, a big old shadow there. They have big old bushy eyebrows he's got. This stuff is very, very stringy. We might make this guy bald. That nose, that elephant nose is really getting in the way there. But, that's the way life is. Always has some kind of obstacle. Just have to work around it, figure it out, work around it. Going frame? Yeah. I'm constantly checking that now after that video yesterday, man. Nothing worse than sitting there and uh, shooting video for 45 minutes. And then when you go to do it, it's like everything you did was for nothing. Yeah. Get it back there again. The biggest problem I got is that I'm sitting outside and this chair is kind of stuck in the dirt. So I can't really rock forward. I can't move the chair forward without getting up. So that's it for this right this minute, guys. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to go wait a couple minutes and see what this rain's going to do. Okay? We'll be back. Okay guys, this looks like the end of the road for today. We're getting raindrops. So this, I don't know what kind of pine this is, but it, for some reason up on this side, it's just like trying to carve string cheese. It just pulls and tears and doesn't want to sand. You can't sand it. It's sticky. It's plugging everything up. Um, I guess you should do a little research into what you're carving before you carve it. So that's where we are today. I know we still got to cut the grooves in the nose and cut the holes in there, but uh, it's starting to rain and I can't work inside today. So we are just going to have to 
end it there for today and uh hopefully we'll get to them here after tomorrow we won't be filming tomorrow because we have a uh, family get together and it's usually from about noon to whenever so friday uh, maybe we'll get back on this elephant wood spirit guy friday it's the elephant <coughs> shut up <coughs> shut up oh i'm sorry mr wood spirit but you're just gonna have to deal with your elephant <coughs> shut up <coughs> feed him a peanut i don't got no peanuts got no pockets got no hands ah cut me off cut me off all right well that's it for today guys we'll talk to you later and remember just carve